I say Stuart here, and today I'm going to be doing a big tag. So this isn't really long, it's only got 11 questions, but it seemed like it'd be quite fun to do, and so here I am. I will get straight into this blow because, as I've said before, I do tend to ramble, and I don't want it to be a super long video because it just takes forever to load when it's long, so I like to keep them quite short. So question one is, do you have a certain place at home for reading? I am usually in my bedroom because my other half is usually in the living room, like on his Xbox or whatever, and I just, when I'm reading, I like peace and quiet, as in, I don't want to hear him playing Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> um, so yeah, I usually go to the bedroom and just escape into my little book world. Question two, bookmark a random piece of paper. It's usually a random piece of paper because I can never find a book mark and so I just grab whatever piece of paper is floating about. Question 3. Can you stop reading anywhere you want or do you have to finish at a certain page, chapter, part, etc? I do like to try and finish the uh, chapter if possible, but if it's not possible, you know, if like I'm running short of time, I will at least finish my paragraph I'm reading. Um, I don't like to go back half the paragraph, I just find it really difficult to get back into, I don't know, it's just me, I'm weird. Um, do you eat or drink while reading? Drinking? I don't mind drinking, you know, like I have a cup of tea or a juice or whatever, that doesn't bother me, but I don't like eating because one, I don't like touching pages when I've got like greasy fingers, you know, and most things leave some form of residue on your fingers and I don't know, I just don't like touching my book pages when I've been eating. Um, two, I don't like to look away from my book. Like when I'm reading, I'm in that world. I don't want to pull myself myself away from that world to munch on whatever. So I just, I'm too engrossed in my world, my book world, to care about eating or anything. And even drinking, it's kind of a autopilot thing, you know. I don't know. It's just me. I don't mind drinking when I'm reading, but I don't really like to eat when I'm drinking, uh, eat when I'm drinking, <laughs> eat when I'm reading. Um, can you read while listening to music or watching TV? I listen to music while I do pretty much everything, when I read, when I write, when I'm studying, um, music just helps me, even though, like, especially when I am, um, again, lost in that world, I completely engulf myself in every word. I literally transform myself into the book so I really don't hear the music but it's nice to know that it's there. I don't know why I do that. I always have. Music has always been a huge part of my everyday life and I always have it on when doing stuff. Um, But TV, not so much because I think unless I'm, unless I am completely engulfed in the book I could easily get distracted by it depending on what's on. But generally I just, I don't even watch TV really. I watch a few programs online, but that's about it. But my TV, like in my living room, is rarely on, unless my other half is watching it. I just do not choose to go, oh, I will go watch a TV program right now. I just don't do that. So it's really on anyway for me. But music is always on. Uh, what's the next question? One book at a time or several at once? I'm a one book at a time, one book at a time type of person. Um, the only way I would ever read more than one book at a time is if I'm not really enjoying a book, so I'll have a break from it, then I'll go pick up another one, then I'll go back to the one that I wasn't enjoying to try again, you know, to see if I can get into it. But generally, it's a, I won't pick up another book until I finish reading the first one. Um, reading at home or everywhere else? At home. Um. I don't know if it's something to do with my anxiety issues, but when I go out, I can't, like, I don't listen to music. You know how probably almost everyone goes out and they listen to some form of music? I can't do that. I never have been able to do that. Because when I go out, I have to be aware of everything around me. Um, and if I'm distracted by music and that, I can't be aware. So even if I'm just sitting in a park I have to be aware of everything going on around me so reading 
anywhere but home is just no no to me. I don't know why that is, but that's just me. I'm weird. So, um, reading out loud or silently in your head. I'm a read silently in my head type person. I do not like reading out loud. I hate reading out loud. Like when I read aloud, I am much slower. I don't know why. I have a problem with words. You probably noticed. <laughs> um, words just don't work for me most times. So reading out loud just, you know, I read in my head. Do you read ahead or skip pages? The only time I will skip pages is if, again, I'm not enjoying a book and I'm like trying to skip ahead to see if there's anything worth continuing on for. But other than that, I don't skip ahead. Question 10. Breaking the spine or keeping it new? I try not to break the spine, but sometimes, you know, it just it happens sometimes. But I try not to. I like to try and keep it, uh, like, new, you know. Um, do you write in books? Oh, this is the last question, by the way. So, yeah. Do you write in books? I hate people who write in books unless those books are like specifically for learning like textbooks or other books that you're studying from and you need to highlight stuff or take little notes you know that's fine but you just a book that you read for pleasure i just can't understand why you don't want to graffiti all over them it's the same as like people who if they don't have a bookmark they'll dog ear a corner of your book i hate that it's like one of the main reasons I hate lending out books is because you never know if someone's going to do that. And 99% of the time, if I do trust a person enough to lend them a book, I'll be like, you don't dog your day. And they're like, no. So it's okay. Like my mother-in-law and my best friend are probably like the only two people I'd ever lend a book to. Because my mother-in-law loves books as much as I do, so I know she'd take care of them. And my best friend, she knows I don't like it, so she wouldn't do it, you know. But yeah, I hate people who write in books unless that book is specifically for, like, studying or whatever. Then it's understandable you're going to want to take notes or highlight bits or whatever, you know. So yes, um, that was the book tag. Um, I'm pretty sure I've not seen anyone that I subscribe to on YouTube do this tag, so... I will tag Adam Waters, SJ Littlewood and Abby Marie and if you do decide to do this tag, link below so I can watch it, please. So I will say thank you for watching, until my next video I hope you have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is where you are, goodbye.